Um, hello, it's Ben for Mashable. Could you introduce yourself quick? Uh, sure. My name is Steve Chang. I'm a product manager at Google uh, working on mobile. And what I'd like to demo for you today is an uh, early prototype of Google Instant on a mobile phone. I have here um, a Droid uh, 2, and I'll be showing you kind of how it works. Um, I'm actually having a little trouble with the Wi-Fi connection right now, so uh, we'll be doing the demo over 3G. So looks like it just lost a lot of bars there. So apologies if it's a little bit slower than it normally would be. Um, but uh, the way it works is uh, we're here at the Art Museum. So uh, we have uh, Google loaded on the browser. So you go to Google on the home page, and then as soon as you click on the search uh, box, the search box moves up to the top to give space for the suggestions for auto-completion as well as the search results. And then let's say uh, we search for something like um, Van Gogh. It looks like auto-complete's working with the uh, weak 3G connection here. Yeah, but I've lost all my bars. So <laughs> let me see if it's a little bit better over here. I thought I had a few better bars over here. Um, let me just try that again. Um, okay, so uh, van. So VA. So as as you're typing, you'll see that the auto completions are shown. Uh, so Vanguard is a very popular uh, auto auto suggestion or auto completion suggestion. And if I keep on going, van go, you'll see that uh, the results for van go show right in line. Or if you want to try something that's uh, a little bit more modern. Um, we could try Roy Lichtenstein, so Roy and then L, and then that's the comic book artist, and uh, there you have it. So that's a Google Instant uh, prototype version. That's it. Um, so when you want to um, pick a, so you can't use it exactly the same as on a desktop, you can't like uh, tab to complete a search, correct? So you can kind of, but... Um, so the straight answer is no, because there's no tab. Um, actually, actually, I wonder if that works. Well, no, we haven't built it. So on a hard keyboard, uh, um, maybe we should uh, support that for keyboards that have tab. But most mobile keyboards don't have it. So in general, I would say it's probably not something that will be easy for us to support on, on mobile. So basically, there's still aspects that still have to be finished and built, which is why it's not launched today. That's right. Um, how And so what is the time frame for launch? Uh, we expect that we will uh, be making this available in the fall. Um, is there anything else we should know about Google Instant Search for mobile? Uh, no, I think that's okay. pretty much it. It's, um, it's still a working prototype, but uh, we're super excited okay. about it, and we think that it will be uh, really a much better user experience. Oh, last question. Um, is sure. this only for the browser? Um, AK, will it work in like a uh, iPhone or uh, Android application yet? Yep, so we... Uh, we expect that when we roll this out, it should work for uh, phones with a full browser. Uh, by full browser, I mean like you know uh, the latest uh, WebKit compatible browsers that um, support you know fancy functionality like um, AJAX and advanced JavaScript. So uh, should work on an iPhone. Should work on an uh, Android class uh, browser device. All right. Uh, well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, this is Ben Parmashable with. Uh Google Instant Search on mobile. Great.